guys, Joe Wanna coming back in with another battle replay here. We have a 2v2 large armies on Thrones of Britannia with the Radius mod. Welcome back to the land of sieges. As you can see, there's some walls here that are indestructible, so the artillery hasn't been doing any damage to them just yet, but those are just some of the indestructible walls. Let's get into the attacking forces first. We'll start off here with West Sayax or Wessex. Wessex is being commanded by Anisvara. Anisvara is bringing six units of Royal Guard, 11 Royal Huskarls, five Feared Spearmen, five units of Royal Archers, three Noble Cavalry, one unit of the Catapult, and his general here is a unit of the Royal Bodyguard. His ally over here, probably uh, some money was exchanged hands, I'm going to assume here. But we do have on this other side, we have Dyflin being commanded by Combat Wombat. He is bringing with him 12 units of the East Eastman Herdman, four units of Elite Axemen, three Spearmen, two units of Berserkers, five Veteran Hunters, uh, one unit of the Wood Kerns, which, if, if I remember correctly, the rules for this battle were five skirmishers total, but uh, I don't know, I mean, it's a Javelin unit, so we'll have to see what they're going to be able to end up doing. Uh, he also has one unit of the Mailed Horseman, a Catapult himself, and his general is a unit of the Hearthguard, one of my favorite general units that there is in Thrones of Britannia. Moving in here onto the Defender side, we will start off on this side with Defender, who's one of the factions that you get with using the Radius mod, uh, being commanded by Sachax. Sachax is bringing with him six units of veteran Sayax warriors, two units of mailed long axemen, six elite axemen, three units of royal huskulls, two mailed spears, I'm uh, sorry, two mailed Sayaxes. Five units of royal archers, one catapult, he has one unit of mounted heavy thanes, and his general is a royal bodyguard. And his ally here is the Normans. Normans being commanded by Paranoid has six units of mailed swordsmen, four chosen warriors, four elite infantry, six axe warriors, five units of chosen warriors, one catapult, and his general is a unit of the Huskarls, which is right over there, Norman Huskarls. So yeah, towers are moving forward. We do have a couple of breaches, I think. We do have one at least. There has been one breach made over here on this side. I'm pretty sure that's Dyflin's artillery. He's also taken out the one of the corner towers there. So they are trying to definitely take down some of the defenses here. Uh, I don't know if I said this in the beginning. This is the settlement of Winchester or as it's spelled in the game, Win Wintenchester? Wintenchester? But it's Winchester. But yeah, towers are moving up here. Wessex is moving his towers up. We do have Dyflin also over here moving up his towers. Artillery is continuing to fire. Actually, where is he firing into? Oh, he's hitting some more of the wall. Let's see if any of the troops here have been hit by any... Defend the town! Shots. Let's see. Anything, anything, anything. No, no real damage just yet. Look at all these Normans just waiting. Patiently waiting as best as a Norman can. Look at these lines. Defensive lines at the ready here for the Normans. So great. So great. Love it. Love this game. I really do love this game. Vanilla or with a mod on it. It... <laughs> Thrones of Batani, as far as I'm concerned, as I've said in a couple other videos, uh, they definitely have, this game definitely has one of, uh, some of the better sieges, just the settlements are gigantic, absolutely gigantic, so, yeah, just showing a little love to Thrones of Batani, and here we go, another wall section now coming down, so they will be able to actually start getting some shots through onto these warriors there. Towers still moving up here. Dyflin has four towers moving up on this side. Looks like the rest of his towers are currently halted. Wessex down over on this side. He's got one tower about to land by itself. We have some select feared spearmen here. He'll be climbing up onto the wall. What would be against... Oh, God. Oh, man. They're going to have a problem. That one spear unit there is going to have a problem unless they try and get him over into the corner. I don't know, actually. I don't remember if they can actually capture the tower from the corner. We'll have to see what these spears end up doing. They're just going to come straight down the staircase and get right into the battle. Let me turn my headset up here a little bit.
Four spears still coming down the staircase. No, it doesn't look like a lot of them are actually coming down. They need to get more men down there, though. Definitely need to get more men down. Wessex landing yet another two towers here. He's actually got a bunch of infantry coming around. Let's see where they may be going. Dyflin landing four of his towers. Does have some infantry now going to make their way through this breach point. Here they come. We got some Eastman Herdman. Two units of Eastman Herdman coming through. Taking a little bit of damage. One of them here down to 159. The other unit there still 160 strong. Do have some veteran Saks warriors here just waiting. Hopefully they don't let them take this tower. That would be bad. <clears throat> that wouldn't be... Actually, I'm pretty... I, wait. Virgin Britannia, if you take the tower, it just breaks anyway. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Whoa, look at the archer fire coming in here. The Royal archers there for Wessex getting some good shots in here. Taking out some of these mailed swords already. Gate has been taken or is in the process of being taken by the attackers that we have here some select the more spearmen have come down oh man what do we have here some royal huskarls climbing up the tower here some more spears maybe oh come back here a little flag more spearmen climbing up onto the towers coming down so the spears will be their first line of attack don't think this unit's doing very good yeah they are getting crushed Norman Axe is here, going to get into some more of these spears, but the gates have now been captured by the attackers, which is going to open up, yeah, what do we have, Royal Huskarls, two units of Royal Huskarls charging at the gates, some more spearmen making their way over there as well, a lot more infantry back here, a lot more infantry back here, we actually have some Wessex soldiers over here, let's get into some of the combat on this side. See how Dyflin is faring, just capturing this tower now as well. Great, great. Wow. That was a pretty big piece of stone to not kill anybody. Anyway, okay, so we do have, here comes the combat, starting on this side of the battlefield as well. Herdman taking on some of the Saax warriors. Actually, Herdman is going to pull back. This Herdman unit is going to pull back a little bit. We got some units down on this side, though. More archer fire coming in. Who is that? Is that the... Uh, I don't know what archers this is. Let's see. Oh, it is the Defender Royal Archers getting some good shots. Two units of those firing up. One of them firing on these units here. Up at the front, we have some more Royal Huskarls now making their way through for Wessex. Just want to say real quick that this battle does have over 16,000 men, so if it is a little choppy here and there, I do apologize for any bit of lag that happens during the replay. Oh my god. Seeing a lot of blood spray over here. Look at these guys. Jesus. So much blood. So much blood. Let's bring the HUD back up. Wow, look at how much Dyflin still has back there. So many infantry units. Look at the arrows. Oh my god. Royal Huskarls getting cut down. Down to 128 men. The Eastman Herdman now close to 100. Let's swing over here. See how this is going. More archers over there. Royal archers for Defender getting shots into the backs of these. Wow. So these units are just getting wrecked. Getting destroyed. Now the archers are actually switching their target on this side. Firing into some of these Eastman Herdmen on this. It's a route. Oh, we got catapult shots now coming in. Who is that? The Defender catapult is firing. Oh, real quick. This is the town center. Right there, there's the victory point for... Winchester, just in case so you guys are aware. I like making uh, like making it known where the where the capture point is, victory point is, just so nobody is confused. Oh god, archer fire coming in. Hey guys, alright, I'm coming back in here with this battle replay. Uh, the game kinda game crashed two times on the other side there, so I'm actually gonna swing back over here and actually perfect timing. Look at England here. I'm sorry. Wessex here. Just trying to barrel their way through this gate. A lot of Royal Huskarls here. 
Oh, wow, that is a lot of Royal Husk Girls. But look at all of the infantry here. Mailed swords. Norman mailed axes. Tough fight here. More chosen so chosen warriors pulling away. We do have a bunch of the defendant archers here. I think we have some more elite infantry pressing up over towards this gate. So Wessex is putting, looks like Wessex is putting a lot of their uh, chips in this barrel here. Really trying to pound their way through the gate. But I just don't know how well that's going to go. Here we have the Royal Guards now making their way in here as well. Numbers, let's see what the uh, army numbers are at. Let's see, can we see them? Nope, not going to show me. Okay. Well, it definitely does look like the attackers still have the balance. Of, oh, there it is. So the balance of power is in favor of the attackers. Makes, makes sense. They did start off with more men. So definitely does make more sense there. We do have the Royal Archers here for Wessex getting some great shots. Volleying up and over and just destroying that unit of Norman Axe Warriors there. More Norman Elite Infantry making their way around. Chosen Swords, some mailed long axemen from Defenna over here as well. Coming over here to just try and help defend this corner, defend against this gate onslaught. This is crazy. Oh my god, Wessex actually has their general in here now too. Is that the artillery firing over here now? Oh god, the catapult for the Normans along with all of these archers firing into this breach, into the gatehouse here. Oh, man. Look at all those Huskarls in there. It's pretty much fishing a battle right over here. Hopefully, this is Huskarls. It looks like the side over there. This flank is starting to thin up a little bit for the defenders. Maybe the Wessex should start pressing in that direction. But those, yeah, those catapults just wrecking house right now. It's so much damage. Let's actually get back over there. Let's see how many kills he has with that catapult. Where is it? There it is. He's got 85 kills so far. Let's swing back over here. Oh, wow. we got some buildings on fire. More Dyflin units coming in. Even, I think, the, def the Defender catapult is still firing. 110 kills for him. And look at the Dyflin units running away. Eastman Herdman, 117, 106 for that unit. But we do see ooh, Dyflin bringing his catapult up close to the wall. This could be bad for the defenders. This could be very bad for the defenders unless they're able to start taking some of the men off of these catapults. Hopefully they'll be able to do that. Archers on this side, 40 kills for that unit of Royal Archers. Just archers fire everywhere. Like, this is just a melee. This is just a massive scrum. I mean, look at the amount of bodies right here alone, just in this area. Look how many are dead. Swing around over here, see how Dyflin is faring against the Normans and Defenna. Normans actually got a unit in the back. Ooh, good charging out to the back of those the Eastman Herdman, but even it. more They're infantry pouring up onto the walls here. Oh, it's two Norman infantry units. Ooh, good move there, Normandy. Great, great, great job. Using the wall using his own walls to his advantage. Getting some rear charges in onto those Eastman Herdman. Let's get back over here. See how Wessex... Oh, God. Just being bottlenecked here. Completely, completely being destroyed. The Royal Archers of Wessex still getting some really good volleys in, but the Huskarl army does not look like they're going to be able to do very much. Oh, and the enemy general just died. Was that the... Was, oh, was that the Wessex general? I don't see his unit flag anymore. His whole unit got destroyed. Wow. Yeah, I think Wessex might have been a little bit better off using some more of his towers. I mean, he's got the ram back here, but Dyflin's got a lot of towers over here that he didn't use. Probably sharing the wealth a little bit between teammates. Might have been a little bit more beneficial for Wessex to come in over there. I mean, that was a lot of, of the Huskarls. And there, don't get me wrong, Huskarls are a very good unit. Let's see if we can find one. I'll pop open the menu here. Huskarls, really good unit. A lot of melee damage, a lot of melee skill, but their armor is just nothing. 37 armor, missile block chance, zero. So, yeah, just blobbing them all right up in there in that gatehouse. Just pretty much signed their death warrants. Very unfortunate there, but Dyflin still does have a decent amount of troops. Swing on back into here in some more of the combat. 
Let's see how West. I mean, Wessex does still have units over here. He's got some Royal Host Girls on this side as well. So, but there. Oh, no. The Defetta Archers again. Just volleying right into the backs. But, I mean, Host Girls do have their ba their shields. Their shields are on their backs. So, that might give them a little bit a little bit of a block chance. Maybe. Even though the game doesn't actually register in them having any missile block chance. Maybe with the shields on their back, that might give them a bit of beneficial blocking. But, uh... Still seeing more archer fire coming from over here. Is that defender still? Where is who's fire? I saw archer firing. There they are. We have some Norman archers here. More Norman archers there. We still do have the Norman artillery is now actually move. Oh, what is? Oh, that's the Norman general. Never mind. I thought that was an attacking general there for a second. But yeah, and the Norman arch Norman catapult has now been able to change his position, starting to fire over in this direction. Now we have the Defenna one moving up. 174 kills for him and the Norman catapult here with 159. But I would say this is pretty much over on this side of the settlement. Just, oh my god, so many dead. So, so, so many dead. This land here is going to be rich for years. Good crops are going to grow there. Good, good, good crops. <laughs> All right, let's swing back around over on this side. Dyflin's still trying to break their way through. I mean, he's getting some good numbers here, but the, still the archers. Archers coming in clutch here for Normandy. Well, the Norman archers coming in fantastic. Absolutely great positioning. Really good kills. Really, really good kills. Where are the berserkers? Where are the berserkers? Got some more elites coming up. Elite, her elite, elite, elite. There they are. Ooh, I can't wait to see these guys get in there. Look at them. They are ready. They are ready to send these guys back to their maker. Oh, man, I can't wait to see them get in here. Back over here. Actually, Defender putting up their shield castle formation, so they are definitely going to continue to try and defend on this side. Probably still use their archers. Ooh, wait, what is that? Is that Dyflin's archers? Yeah, veteran hunters starting to get some shots in, getting some good shots in onto this unit of the chosen archers there for Normans. The Norman chosen archers. This unit is at 100 kills for Defender. This unit here with 144. And they just have a great, they had a great line of shot right over here. They're still volleying into the sides of these Eastman spearmen. The Huskarls that were over here, they're just getting some, actually Huskarls are gone. Is Wessex gone? See more retreating troops there. What's going on back over here? Well, no, he still has... What's he got? Two units of Royal Archers. This guy... I mean, this gate is still being fought for. What do we have in there? Royal Guard taking on Elite Axemen and a unit of the Norman Chosen Warriors. But I'm going to say that... Well, no, he's got some archers coming back. Royal Guard there with only seven men left in it. So Wessex trying to reclaim their home. Seems that they have been unsuccessful... Hopefully, the money that they have paid towards Dyflin, maybe Dyflin will be able to make the Wessex dream come true here. Got more infantry now pouring in through here. East, oh, the wood currents are here. Okay, let's see what they're going to do. So, volleying up over, wow, already up almost to 10 kills. And there is a decent amount of blobbed up units over there. More infantry for Dyflin pouring in here. Good javelin volleys. You can see the, the Defenna forces dropping down over there. Probably some of the Norman forces also. Getting some really good kills. So the Kern's actually coming in handy. Okay. I wasn't really sure how well they were going to do. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Noble, noble Cav coming in. Wessex had cavalry? Oh, that's right. He did have cavalry. Where were they? There's the Meesman mailed horses. For Dyflin, but the cavalry here, Noble Cav for Wessex, charging through, barreling through that breach point there. Now they're going to hold. They have to hold. Oh, and that's a perfect target. These Norman archers are going to just start lighting this cavalry up. Cav's got to move. Hasn't lost anybody yet, but they definitely are losing some of their hit points. Ooh, Norman's actually starting to waver on this side. One final unit of mailed Sax is there. Oh, wait, never mind. No, the defenders got more. Norman infantry coming around the corner there. 
see what's still going on back over on this side. Looks like the gate has been pretty much well defended. Wait, what is that? What is that? Unit of Elite Axemen for Dyflin. Where did they come from? Where did they come from? Oh, oh, I see. Okay, hold on a second. 8% damage, settlement damage. Wow. Okay, so Dyflin actually used one of his units. I guess he put him over here. I didn't see it. But look at all of the outskirts, towns, and villages that he burnt, that that one unit burned down. That did a lot of damage to this settlement. Supplies down to minus, supplies down minus two and a melee skill down also for the defenders. That might actually come in handy. It's a route. Our warriors be the See how we're still doing over here. The Noble Cav is going to pull away. Still have a unit of the Eastman Elite Axes there, but they are not looking good. Oh, some of the Noble Cav caught. Looks like some of this Noble Cav is caught in melee. But if they can make it through this, that could be big. Oh, oh, Dyflin with some Herdman. They use the tower. Yep, they use the tower. They're coming around. Here we go. They're going to rear charge. Good job there. Very well done. Rear charge in onto the back of this axis unit. Just break them. Free up the cavalry. Great job. Let's see how this is going. This is just gigantic mess of infantry. Bodies laying everywhere. I love it. Those berserkers in here? Hold on. Hold on. Berserkers in here yet? No, they're getting closer though. Oh man, they are ready. Oh, I'm smiling so much right now. I can't wait. I can't wait. Alright, let's get back into some of the combat here again. Dyflin looks like they're starting to make a bit of a breakthrough, a bit of a push into this street here. Do have some great axes here for Defender though. More of the elite infantry. I'm assuming more of the elite infantry there for the Normans. Yeah, elite infantry here. Axe warriors here. Royal archers actually been thrown into the mix to try and help hold these lines. Dyflin General getting closer and closer. Arthgar General right there. Do have the Royal Bodyguard General there for Defendant. Where is... There he is. Norman General here. Norman Huskarls making their way up around. Let's see what's going on in this corner. The Noble Cav is back in here. Second unit coming around. How are the defenders? Look, ooh, Chosen Warriors on that side. Not looking good. Elite Axemen starting to waver there. Norman Infantry. Elite Infantry still trying to hold. But we do have more... Defender infantry coming up. What do we got? Chosen warriors, chosen archers, and some more of the catapult crew actually here. Four defender has shown up. They're going to keep trying to hold this line. Let's see what they're, what they're close to. Oh my god, wow. So close now. 200 man difference. Roughly a 200 man difference. Cavalry's going to pull away again. The Normans actually, Normans and defender are actually charging out after the cavalry. Did they lose both units? Did he lose both units of his cavalry? See one there. They must have. I only see one unit of cavs still here. Ooh, that's rough. That is rough. Yeah, I think that's the other unit that's broken. Yeah, no, wait. That unit's still there. That's just a guy that doesn't. That's just a horse that doesn't have a rider. But here we go. Some more Eastman elites coming in here to take on the Norman elites. Pretty good fight, but I, yeah, I don't think that the Normans, this unit at least, had a lot of men left in it. Yeah, only 35 men left in here, so Dyflin should be able to take this pretty well. We do have a pretty big, pretty sizable defense over here, taking out yet another unit of the Eastman Herdman there. Veteran Sax Warriors here. What else do we got? Elite Axes, Norman Chosens, Catapult Crew. Actually, both Catapult Crews are still over here. Get back in here. Yeah, the attackers making some making some damage. Making some headway. What was that? A unit of archers that just charged in there? Looks like a unit of Norman archers have just charged in. Continuing to try and hold these streets. Ooh. 
Where are these berserkers? Oh, nope, that's not them. Where are they? Our men have turned tail and run. Oh, berserkers are in. Berserkers are in. Oh man, come on, cut them up. Where's that other unit? The other unit of berserkers is over here. Oh wow! Look at all the infantry Typhoon still has. Do the defenders really have that much infantry left? Not really. Not a whole lot. I mean, by full units, we haven't still... Oh, that's the catapult crew. The general for Adiflin now making his way in. Four minutes left in this battle replay. Berserkers sound very happy over here. What did we have charge in here, actually? Oh, the defendant general charged in. Royal bodyguard in here now, taking on some berserkers. Is it just the berserkers here? Yeah, just the one unit of berserkers. Typhon sent in his other unit of the elite swords in onto this breach point. Or this road, I should say. Let's see how we're doing back over on this side. Typhon's still doing some pretty good work. Berserkers here, 65 kills. This unit of the elite axes, 284. Back around over here, Typhon General charging around. This is getting close, guys. This is getting really close. This is pretty much, this is a full general there. Noble Kev still just cycle charging around this elite swordsman here. How many kills did that elite swords have? 158. And the defenses look like they're getting ready to break completely on this flank. With the general charging in, yeah, this is surely over. The Noble Kev was actually able to make their way through. What do we have coming around? Normal Husker General running away, going to the other side. But the Noble Cav has broken through. Chosen Warriors trying to fight as best as they can, but it's not going to be able to be enough. Not going to be enough there. And we also have more Elite Hunters. So what is this coming down? More Elite Axemen for Dyflin coming down. Oh my god, that's the unit that came around. That's the unit that came all the way back around. What else does they have here? Another unit of cavalry sitting right there. Oh, they could be causing some serious problems. Bring them in through that gate. This cavalry could be... Oh, man. But here we go. The noble cav has fully broken through. This flank is destroyed. Here we go. This looks like this is going to be where the last sand is. Anything going on over here? No, nothing really going over by the victory point. So they're just going to fight it out. Oh wait, where's this noble calf going? Looks like they actually might be making their way over towards the victory point. But yeah, last stand right here. Look at this. Veteran Syrax Warriors, the normal Husk Norman Huskarl General. Some more chosen archers here. Defendus still has some units here. What do we have going on over here? Royal Bodyguard General still viciously trying to fight off these Dyflin forces, but I, I don't think it's going to be enough. Down to a minute 14 left. The Defendant General just got absolutely crushed on a rear charge there. Still fighting tooth and nail. Bent swords, broken shields. Crushed skulls, more than likely. Wow. 46 seconds left. Oh. Defenders. Oh, no. Oh, the Norman General's routing. Oh, no. Defenders General's routing as well. That's going to be it. Oh. Yep. Their generals all died. Wow. That was a great battle. What a hell of a fight. Right here. This was crazy. Wessex trying to just bulldoze his way through here with all those host girls just fighting everywhere. Bodies literally everywhere in this settlement. Oh, God, everywhere. So brutal. So brutal. I love it. I love it. Let's get into the army comms here. We'll start off with... Defenna, who was commanded by Sachax, is actually the guy that sent the replay in. So, dude, thank you so much for sending that in. Uh, let's see, what kind of kills do we got here? Getting into his axes, 173, 213, 336. 
138. One of his swords there, 127. Some of his hush girls, 124, 217, 390. His archers did really well. 151, 141, 109, 167. Even his catapult, look at that, 174 kills. Great job. Paranoid here with Normans. Uh, a lot of his swords doing pretty good. 104, 167, 132, 284, 104, 348. Actually, wow, look at that, a golden chevron. Good job with that unit there. 132, 325, 170, 157. Getting into his axes, 183, 106, 121. His archer's doing really well also. 138, 125, 111, 63. And his catapult again, 161. Great job there by the defense. Combat Wombat here with Diflin. Actually, wow, look at that, almost 4,400 kills. Very well done. Let's check out his swords here. 178, 106, 215. 175, 117, 329, 193, 128, 151, 190, 195. Starting to get into his axes here now. Uh, 317, 149, 272. Actually, these are just berserkers. 272, 167. Getting into his ranged forces. 99, 107, 149, 130, 113, 130. Look at his currents. 198 kills with javelins. Wow. And his catapult. 164 kills. Great job there. Then we have West Sayex here with Anisvara. Uh, swords 140, 99, 112, 258. Getting into some of his axes though. But yeah, I think I think that yeah. Him trying to bulldoze as well. I mean, I get I, I appreciate the, the aggressiveness, the the the, the want. I, I get it. I get it. But yeah, I think that was a bad idea trying to just funnel all of his troops in through there. You can tell. These are all the units that were trying to make their way through that breach point. And it's just uh, through the gates there. It just wasn't wasn't meant to be. Uh, more of his husk goes though. 181, 224. Getting into his archer force. 119, 109, 110, 107, 107. Great job with his archers. Cavalry here, 187 there. His catapult with 40 kills. But all right, guys, that's going to be the end of the battle replay here for today. Hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Feel free to drop a comment down below. And, uh... Yeah, continue to subscribe to the channel. Getting real close to 2.6. 2,600 subscribers already, guys. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I have nobody to thank but you. Thank you guys all for supporting me, supporting my channel. Views, watch time, everything. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it deeply. Deeply appreciate all the support. But all right, guys, that's going to be the end here. Hope you guys did enjoy the replay. Have a good rest of your day. Stay safe. And until the next one.